What is .NET Aspire and what is it for? My name is Glenn, I'm a product manager on the .NET team and today I'm going to answer those questions. .NET Aspire is designed to make building good cloud native applications easier and help developers be more productive doing so. Good in this case means observable, reliable and able to be improved at the speed that you want to hit your deadlines. It does that in five main areas all of which have other videos and detailed documents available. But in this video, we're gonna give an overview of all of it so you can get a feel for the entire project. Each of the pieces we're talking about here can be adopted individually into an existing application, for example, or adopted all together if you're starting something new or you want to adopt all of them. You can do use whichever pieces of this set resonate the most with you, all of it, or just some of it. The Aspire dashboard shows at a glance all the pieces of the app that are running and it's designed to give you relevant information to diagnose what is going on with your app while you are working on it or diagnosing a specific bug. We want the dashboard to be the easiest way of getting observability into the app you are working on, but it's flexible and can be deployed to your production environment as well as if you would like. When there, it can work with your other monitoring and telemetry systems and provide a window into helping you debug specific problems as opposed to the ongoing monitoring health or discovering issues that the rest of your telemetry systems might be focused on. Spire will orchestrate running the various pieces of your application in your dev environment. This could be databases, queues, other projects or services, anything that needs to be kicked off when you are running your app on your dev machine. It could scale from a single project or service with its database dependency all the way to an entire distributed system with all the services and dependencies running together. This simplifies running your app locally and has demonstrated significant improvements in some teams' ability to onboard new developers quickly as it replaces a lot of error-prone configuration and environmental setup. The orchestration is done in C-sharp, making it strongly typed and gives you tools like IntelliSense and compile time validation to make it easier than some other text-based formats, especially if you're already familiar with C-sharp. Aspire components are the libraries you use to communicate with your app's dependencies. So things like the Redis SDK, database connectors, and other libraries that you probably are already familiar with. Aspire components give you a single line of code that adds that SDK to your application but configures it for use in the cloud. This means it sets smart defaults for a resiliency pattern like retries to handle transient failures, correct usage of dependency injection, and schema for configuration. Aspire components are designed to give you confidence that the library you are using is configured in the right way for the cloud by default, and will work together with the other parts of your Aspire app. This is a common concern that we heard from engineering teams working on cloud native apps. We're very happy that we can help it with Aspire. When building a distributed app, the parts of your system need to know how to talk to each other. What is the IP address or port of your backend, for example? Today, you need to do this with config files or environment variables or other techniques. Discovering what the port you need is and recording it in various places so that each piece of your solution can get them. Spire has the goal of making ports and connection strings disappear as a concern for the developer. It does this via a built-in extensible service discovery system that allows you to refer to the pieces of your solution by name and have the rest figured out for you. This removes error-prone config values and removes this common problem of I am a new developer, I need to create a new machine and all the ports and such that are saved in the config files are different for me and I need to figure out the right ones. How do you deploy an Aspire application to your cloud environment? when you're ready to test it live or when you need to go into production. You can deploy an Aspire app anywhere you can deploy a .NET app in the same way that you deploy today. .NET Aspire apps are .NET apps and therefore they have deep support for getting to a container-based platform. So whatever you're targeting from VMs, Kubernetes to container apps, we should have you covered. However, we have created some new and very nice Aspire Aware deployment experience with some of our partners that give a smooth, easy button experience for some platforms such as Kubernetes or Azure Container Apps. We're really proud of the work we've done with the .NET Aspire and think that it really helps move the needle in terms of the approachability and productivity of cloud native development with .NET. And I hope that you'll give it a try and let us know what you think.